this radiator up because that was put in secondary. Ah, uh, hang out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hi guys, Ryan here from the London Craftsman again. Sorry it's been a while since my last video, but really busy with work and baby on the way, so I haven't been able to do one for a long time. So my problem is trying to connect up this radiator in the corner here, this spot radiator. This one was plumbed in when the house was, when the extension was built. And I want to think of a nice way of getting some pop, copper pipe all the way down to that radi radiator to plumb it in without cutting into the wall or having a surface mounted plastic pipe or copper pipe. And I thought the best way would be to make a word up. So if you come round and have a look at the word. So, you know, I've put some pictures up as well. So we tried to make the word hot because it's a radiator. I mean, it's going to be connecting two radiators up and obviously wanted a word that's pretty simple, three three letters and pretty easy to make. And all it is, is just 15 mil copper pipe on push fit copper elbows. And as you can see, it looks quite nice. It looks quite shiny. I mean, it will, it will tarnish over time when the water one runs through it, but you can always push it, polish it up with um, brass cell or something like that. So the plan is, well, this is our feature wall, exclude the pictures. And so we're thinking of having the word hot here and then the two pipes are going to run all the way across and down to connect to the bottom of this and the same here is going to run all the way across and down to fix to this radio at the bottom. So that is called um, a rod. So you draw out a rod first and as you can see I've drawn in my elbows how far my pipes come to the start of an elbow so this is an elbow here it's a one-way push fit so if you get it wrong you might as well chuck it away and start again because you can't pull the pipe back on i've placed on i've taken into account that my pipe will go in 15 mil so my pipe will stop there which is in line with that hen line so that's why i've drawn my lines in here 22 mil from the edge 22 mil and that's giving me me, me my shoulder edges which i've then gone round and just drawn on the board, all the sizes of every piece of copper. Again, I did a little rough cutting list of all my sizes. As you can see, six at 43 mil, two at 69, etc. Big ones is one at 476, etc. Cut them all up. Again, there'll be photos um, at the end of the video. And then I just literally just squash them all together. You literally just push them in. I'm not gonna do one now for you because they're non-returnable. Um, and it's all ready to go. First things first would be to measure my size. So obviously the overall size of the word is 1050 by 590. And I found that when this picture here, I'm just gonna centralize that word to this picture. So that's the top. And that's the center. So I've got my crosshair of where the center of the top of this is. So hot. So the top of um, O um, is going to be the center. Right. So now we've found our center point. If we look on the board, my fixings are going to be this is going to be hung from the top. So there's going to be one little strap here, which are these little they're called saddles. Yeah. And they just go over the copper pipe, and two little. And um, what I'm using is three by 20 heads. So really tiny heads, so threes. Um, they just sit one, two, three, four. That will take most of the weight. And then I will just support one or two other places, you know, around where I need them. Once it's hanging, I'll be able to see, be able to square up the letters and then put some more clips in. So on the wall, I've taken the measurements of those brackets, come down about 90, 100 mil as the height, and I've worked out the distances in between using the rod. And now this is ready to go just to hang the first piece. So for example, I mean, without two people, it will go on something like that onto my brackets, okay? 
I will literally just release this clip, put them in, put the screw back in, and that's the first half up, and then away we go. Okay? Right guys, so this is it. This is the finished product, as you can see. The pipe's all the way across, as I told you, back down. One goes into the um, flow and one goes into the return, both sides. So the water supply comes from up the top here, comes down behind this boxing in, connects to this radiator. I've teed off this radiator in the flow, flow and return to give me my two pipes. One would be the flow, which is this one, goes all the way around. Goes into the radiator, comes back down, and then this one is the return. It's important that you still have your flow return if you've got a two pipe system. Each corner here is about two quid, and it was, took about 20 meters of copper piping, a little copper cutter, um, and just help from a plumber friend to help me connect up to the radiator. Why don't you give it a go yourself? Write a word, your own word, you know, make sure it's you, you design it first and you check out, make sure you've got your flow and return with this word. But even if you don't even have it connected up, you can still have it as a nice little piece. If I cut these off and I just put a return here, it'd still look like a nice piece. All right guys, well thanks for watching and I hope you found this video enjoyable. Make sure you click on our um, the bell button and subscribe to us. Cheers, bye bye.